is Cora Maria and I'm back it again with another video. So today I'm just going to be walking you guys through my desk. I will be giving you basically the rundown of all the tech that I use for college and what I use that specific tech for. A happy birthday to the greatest ever Kobe Bryant. Just a big special shout out to him. Rest in power to the greatest. Yeah, I just want to touch on that before we got any deeper into this video. Other than that, we're just going to get right into this video. So I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer to my desk so that you can see everything that's going on at an up close and personal scale. So we're just going to basically start off with the desk I use. So this desk is actually a 59 inch Linman tabletop from Ikea. It costs $29.99 just for this tabletops. For the black legs that go under this table, I paid $4 each. So altogether, this table was less than $50. So I do use a MacBook Pro. This is a 2019 15 inch MacBook Pro. I actually purchased this in September of 2020 and I have just been loving it ever since. And it's just been a heavy duty computer that I've been needing throughout my college career. I use this thing to do everything in college. Literally from like taking notes, creating PowerPoint slideshows, Google documents, emailing, video editing, this thing does it all. It literally does it all and it has enough space to accommodate everything. This can hold all of my documents and everything that I need for school. All of my video editing things do go on my hard drive so that my computer can still have enough space for my schooling stuff. But I am so impressed with this computer. I don't plan on getting a new one anytime soon. I love it so much. Next up, I'm going to mention my stand, the stand that I have this computer sitting on. This stand is a Lamacall stand off of Amazon. This stand has the ability to pivot 360 degrees and that's what I love about it most because when I'm on Zoom calls and I need the camera to be shifted, I can just put it on a swivel instead of picking up this whole thing and kind of carrying it across the desk so that's that makes stuff a lot easier for me so on the back we have the USB-C hub this is a multi-port adapter and then on the back you have the USB the micro SD the standard SD card and on the front you have the USB-C as well as the regular USB ports this is actually velcro to the bottom of my computer stand for easy accessibility I'm also a big stickler on cord management I don't like a whole bunch of cords everywhere so I like to keep everything you know tucked away so that it's not easily seen now I'm going to check you guys the trackpad that I use. This is the Apple Magic Trackpad 2. This is the wireless one in black. It has a port up here for charging right here and it connects through Bluetooth. Okay, now on to the keyboard. This is the Apple Magic Keyboard with the numerical pad. This is the full keyboard and it's in black. So now I'm going to move into the headphones I use. So these are the first generation Bose Quiet Comforts, And these are also perfect for gaming. All you have to do is buy the cord that is used for Android phones and it works perfectly for gaming. You can game and you can use these when you study. So these are the perfect headphones for both of those purposes. And then um, on my desk, I also have this little plant. I honestly just bought this for looks, fake. I got it from TJ Maxx for $5. Like it's just for decoration, so. So now we can move into my speakers. These are the Bose Companion 2 Series 3 multimedia speakers. These honestly are such great speakers. I, I love them. My sister bought them for me. She literally made such a great choice on these speakers. They have the option to turn them up, turn them down, all right here. You can plug in your headphones right here or you can hook them wirelessly to this computer. And they also come in handy because they just hook to the back of your monitor. This monitor doesn't have a speaker on it. These were awesome to keep from having to listen to audio solely from my computer. So let me see if I can give y'all a little sound test. That's a little sample, but just for reference, I never reach full volume. So these things have some power on them. They have a good base. Like it's, they're literally awesome. So now we're going to move into the other side of the desk. As you guys may know, I use an iPad for a lot of my schooling. This is the sixth generation iPad. Um, with the Apple Pencil. This is basically like my notebook for school. All of my notes go in here and they automatically sync up with my computer so I can pull up notes that I've taken at any time 
on my computer through Google Drive that I've taken in the Notability app. I can also track my grades on here through my Canvas app. Um, I can keep up with emails. I can respond to text messages. I can take pictures, record videos. I don't have social media on here because this is an iPad that I use for school and school purposes only. I also edit a lot of my thumbnails on here and I do a lot of my calendar stuff in there. So like that's how I keep up with a lot of dates. I have a lot of meetings because I tend to have a lot of those. Literally that's the only thing that I carry in my backpack besides my laptop. We are going to move into the main attraction of probably why a lot of you are interested in this video. This monitor right here is the LG Curved Ultra Wide Monitor. I did save up for this monitor but it was well worth the money. Right now it's a little orange looking because I'm on night shift but let me turn off. Okay. So now you can just see how rich the color is and how great of a picture this screen shows. The reason why I got this specific monitor is because UMish has a lot of these in the Duderstadt Center, which is basically the library on North Campus, which is a library that I go to a lot. So when I came home from school, this screen was really honestly what I miss most about studying on campus because I always like to have my work pulled up on a big screen in front of me. So I thought it was only right to buy one for myself at home. So I made that move. I saved up my money and I made that move. I recommend a monitor period to anybody who is learning from home because it really helps having another screen besides just like being confined to a little laptop screen all the time. I like to blow up whatever's on my laptop screen on this monitor right here because it makes it a lot easier to see. Um, it's a lot better for my eyes. It increases like my posture because I like to hunch my back when I'm on my laptop. I can literally raise the level of this and like kind of tilt the screen this way and it makes it a lot easier on my eyes. Right now I have it tilted this way and I have it pushed down like that. And cable management is really important to me. So to organize all of my cords at the back of my computer, I use these spiral cable huggers and it's literally so easy to put them on your cables and they make underneath your desk look so clean. I didn't want to leave without showing you guys this lamp. This is basically a law lamp and this has been a fantastic lamp. It really adds a sense of like bougie to the room. So I like it. <laughs> so yeah, y'all and all y'all do is like pull this switch. And the light goes off.